Good morning everyone! Today I'm gonna bring you along for a day off in my life. I normally vlog work days but um and today is Monday actually but it's a holiday in the US and as like an international contractor for the US company that I work for I get to choose which holidays I take throughout the year so that you know we can take the holidays for our own country not the US ones but what I basically did was pick I think it's eight days a year we get I just like looked through the Spanish calendar, some of the holidays I was used to from the UK and some of the US ones as well and picked like a nice even spread of holidays throughout the year and today is one of them. I think it's Labor Day or something in the US but I don't know. All I know is I've got the day off and the rest of my team does too which is nice because it means when I go back tomorrow there won't be a bunch of stuff to catch up on that everyone else is working on while I was out. Anyway like I said I thought it'd be fun to bring you along for a day off in my life today. I don't know how many differences there actually will seem like there are because um, even though it's a day off I still have a to-do list of stuff I need to do. I'm still gonna be spending some time on my computer working on a few things but yeah it would be interesting to just show this side of things as well. It is 10 o'clock. I had a bit of a sleep in today but um, now I'm up and on the computer sorting a few things out. I just sent off some vlog footage to my editor to edit so shout out to Nancy who edits these videos and does a wonderful job of it. In about an hour I have an appointment to get my nails done which is gonna be fun. Getting my nails done is like I don't know it's like a nice little self-care thing that I do for myself. I really missed it while we're in lockdown and all of the like you know beauty places were closed so yeah I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's been a while it's about time. I need to do a couple of errandy bits and then what else have I got to do today? I've got to film a video today actually so that'll be fun. Um, also gonna have a call with a friend and I don't know there's just a lot of fun stuff happening so yeah we're gonna vlog it. Uh, right now though I think I'm actually gonna go and put some makeup on which is not something that I usually do as part of my daily routine as you may have noticed if you've watched these vlogs before but um, I like to wear makeup for filming like what I think of as a sit down video like a proper one where I'm sitting like talking to my fancy camera and I might as well have it on for when I go out and get my nails done so I can feel all fancy you know. Also I cut my hair I don't know if you can tell um, on the weekend and yeah I'm really liking it. It annoys me when my hair gets to like shoulder length or a bit below and then I feel like I have to tie it up because I really like having my hair down but um, like comfort is key and <laughs> when it gets annoying I always tie it up. So yeah at this length I can just leave it down and it's fine. I'll leave a link in the description to a video tutorial that I followed this time because I did like literally cut it myself. Um, it was a tutorial by Brad Mondo who is a hairdresser based in New York and um, I really like watching his videos and he made this very helpful tutorial <laughs> when it was the lockdown and everyone was like cutting their own hair you know he wanted to save us <laughs> from um, ourselves basically. <laughs> Anyway, let's go put some makeup on. nail art thing on it um, which was her suggestion which I really liked that was fun um, also picked up some soil very exciting purchases and uh, some plastic container and some sandpaper just you know bits and pieces now before we do anything else um, I'm really hungry so I think I'm gonna eat lunch a little bit early today and then get into filming where I'll get my tripod and camera set up um, I've got to film a video That'll be the last episode of Inside Marketing Design Podcast. I'm doing like a wrap up of the season with some, I don't know, like things I've learned, an overview and uh, common threads that I heard throughout all of the like interviews that I did as part of the season. So I think that'd be good. And I'm also going to film a Q&A to get back into posting like regular uh, sit down videos on my channel. So first food, then filming. didn't film was uh, well first of all I filmed two videos so that was good 
feel very productive to have gotten those both done today. And then Mark and I went on a little walk. When I say little, it was like almost four kilometers, so not super little, but yeah, that was really fun. Good to, you know, get out and get some fresh air and exercise, even if the fresh air has to be breathed through a mask at the moment. Um, and then I just had um, a call with my friend Steven, who's probably a YouTuber. He makes videos about magic and busking, and we used to be in a mastermind group um, back when I lived in London, uh, which sort of like, I don't know, we all got busy and, and stopped meeting up, but yeah, he's just launched a new membership thing and we wanted to just have a chat and talk about email marketing and some other nerdy stuff like that, which was really fun. So we had, we had a talk and then Mark just helped me fill out a like a form thing with the post office um, to accept a package that my parents have sent me that's been held up in customs. One of the videos that I filmed was a Q&A and I put out the call on Twitter and Instagram asking for questions um, and one that I didn't answer in that video but that I thought I might answer here was uh, someone very kindly asked me how I'm like settling in now and how like life as an expat has been living in a country where I don't speak the language and yeah you know how have I gone with that with all the paperwork and stuff like that. Um, which first of all thank you kind person for asking because that was something that I definitely struggled with a lot last year because soon after we moved we knew that Brexit was going into effect not wanting to get kicked out of the country we wanted to make sure that I was set up as a resident here um, and it was yeah it was a lot of work to get that done and it really like took over my life for a while we still aren't like completely safe here you know and not knowing what the government's going to do when the Brexit agreement or non-agreement or whatever finally happens with that. I don't know, it's very confusing. I haven't been paying attention lately, honestly. All in all, I'm just sort of like living life as normal here now. I feel like I've just gotten used to living in a country where I don't speak the language is maybe a good way to describe it. Um, but the past few months in particular, you know, I've been inside a lot and it's not really felt like I live in a foreign country because um, I'm never around other people very often. But yeah, every now and then there's a thing that comes and it's like, you know, a letter from the post office and I'm like, I don't know, I know a bit of Spanish, um, but I do not know complicated post office Spanish apparently. <laughs> so I definitely need like help just understanding this letter and what I'm supposed to do. It's definitely still a work in progress there. I don't know, it definitely adds this like extra layer of difficulty to everything that you might want to do. Like, I don't know, we're thinking about buying a new sofa and it's like, okay, then we're gonna talk to someone about how to take the old sofa away and figure all that out and just all the stuff that wouldn't like wouldn't cross my mind as a difficult thing to deal with living in in the UK or in New Zealand where I speak the national language fluently <laughs> uh, but here I don't and so it just makes things more difficult but yeah I think it's a good challenge and I definitely do want to learn <laughs> how to speak more fluently um, I can understand a lot more Spanish than I speak that's for sure so I've got to do a lot more practice speaking. Someone asked when I'm gonna make a vlog speaking in Spanish and the answer is probably no time soon because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> speaking of Spanish though I have class in like five minutes because even though it's been like a day off uh, for me from work it's not a holiday here in Spain and so classes are still on. So I'm gonna go grab a drink of water and go to Spanish class. <sighs> okay Class over, that was a tough one. Everyone had really low energy, including me. <laughs> so we weren't talking a whole lot. I don't know. I feel like um, because classes have had to be on Zoom, I'm not like getting as much out of them as maybe if we're in person. Like I think people would be speaking more. I don't know. Everyone sits with their cameras off too. Like I feel like I'm the only one who has it on, which is kind of annoying. But anyways, still learning a lot. Just not like practicing outside of classes as much as I should perhaps. Anyway, um, that is the end of today. I did not get done everything that I wanted to do on my to-do list. I wasn't planning on originally going for a walk, but when Mark suggested it and the weather was nice, like, you know, of course I wanted to do that instead. But that's okay, you know, sometimes plans gotta change. Thanks for hanging out with me for a day off in my life. I know it probably seemed like I did a lot of sitting at the computer just like I do on my work days, but it's a pretty honest representation of how I spend my time off, honestly. Back to work tomorrow. I think I might tidy up my desk a little bit before I like, you know, fully end up for the day so that I start tomorrow fresh. But yeah, thanks for being here. Hope you had a good day off as well. If, you know, this was a holiday for you as well. Um, and if not, hope you've had a good week in the week that you're watching this and I'll see you in the next vlog.